Hey, today we are interviewing Prof. Hussein Solomon from Gender and African Studies. How are you, Prof? I'm well, thank you. Thanks for having me. It's a pleasure. Prof, tell the people out there, how did you become a researcher? Well, I guess I always loved reading and I was curious about things. And after university and stuff, I was, I was kind of unhappy about the kind of texts I was reading and so on. And someone jokingly said to me, well, why don't you write your own texts? And, uh, well, I did an honours, a master's, a PhD, and I've been writing ever since. Oh, wow. What are you currently working on? Uh, it's very, very disparate. Um, I'm looking at the uh, discrimination faced by the, LGB uh, by the LGBTIQ community in North Africa and the Middle East. That's one book project. I am working on a book project on the future of war in Africa oh, wow. and I am extremely interested at uh, the current power configurations in the world, the war in Ukraine, problems around Taiwan, problems with Iran and whether or not we are on the brink of World War Three. Okay, that brings me to my next question. What are some of the gaps you've identified in your field? I think one of the major problems that has happened not just in my field, but I would say in the humanities generally, is that it is so theoretical, it's completely divorced from reality. So you have academics commenting on the work of other academics, but without any empirical context. Um, and, that's, and that's problematic because I think it leads to the marginalization, and I'm sorry to say the irrelevance of the humanities if we carry on this way. So what I try to do, for example, in terms of the future of war, we are uh, getting a book out, but, but, the, but the authors of the book are not just academics. They are also generals, they are politicians, people who have been in the front lines of conflict and violence and war on the African continent, and in bringing these different perspectives together, because I think that if we don't, then it's just a discussion a highly theoretical discussion, completely uh, distant from the realities on the ground, and we're not doing any favors uh, to the consumers of our research. I can imagine. Prof, I can imagine there must be very interesting conversations in your house considering your wife is also a political analyst. Hmm. I suppose you two speak to each other the whole day? We do, uh, but we also try to uh, keep a uh, uh, a balance in in that we want to talk about other things we want to talk and we want to spend time with our daughter Definitely. and to be honest with you uh, she's a political scientist as well and uh, I think politics can be quite depressing uh -huh. so uh, preferably something on Netflix lovely uh, something not too heavy something light uh, yeah okay what would you say to other aspiring researchers in your field how would you inspire them Words of wisdom. Well, I would say, firstly, uh, uh, life is not a 100-meter dash. It's a comrades marathon. So take your time and position yourself over the long term. And the second and the most important thing is do not follow fads. Uh, real research is done by digging and digging in that same area over a long time and then you get insights and so on. But if you're working on today's fad now and then the next day you're working on something else and the next day something else because uh, that is what's popular or that's where the funding is, well, I'm, you're going to sell yourself short. Don't okay. do it. You've mentioned Netflix and your daughter, but one last question. What else do you do for rest and relaxation in your home? Well, I kind of like hiking. Okay. Uh, I know it's quite shocking with my 44-inch waistline, <laughs> but I do like the I uh, I do like the outdoors and I do like hiking, and I have to say that that some of the most majestic views right here in the Free State is outside Clarence wow. when you are walking to the uh, waterfall and so forth, and it's amazing. I can imagine, Prof. Thank you so much for your time today and your inspiring words. We wish you the best. Thank you very much. Thanks. Thank you.